Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If x is greater than 0, then the limit as n approaches infinity of n times the nth root of x minus 1 is equal to natural log of x. Now, we know that the nth root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 over n, which is equal to e to the power of 1 over n natural log of x. So for the duration of this video, we're going to treat nth root of x as though it's e to the 1 over n natural log of x. Now, a property of the exponential function that we know about is the following. We have e to the r is greater than or equal to 1 plus r for all real numbers r. And actually, if we consider a real number r less than 1, well, we know that e to the negative r is greater than or equal to 1 plus negative r. Right, because this inequality works for every real number. So in particular, it must work for negative r. Well then, we know that this is just saying e to the negative r is greater than or equal to 1 minus r. But now, if we multiply e to the r on both sides, we get this. But then the left-hand side is just a 1. But then, let's divide 1 minus r to the other side. And we can do that, because we know since r is less than 1, that implies 1 minus r is greater than 0. So when we divide 1 minus r to the other side, the sign of the inequality will remain the same. So we have that this inequality is true if r is less than 1. But we also know e to the r is greater than or equal to 1 plus r, because that's what we have right here. right? So this is true if r is less than 1. And so we're going to be using this fact to prove this theorem. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. To start of the proof, let's suppose x is greater than zero. From here, the whole goal is to prove that this sequence converges to the natural log of x. And to show that, we are going to show that eventually, this sequence is squeezed between two sequences that converge to the natural log of x. And when we say eventually, we mean when n is greater than natural log of x. So let's consider an arbitrary positive integer n greater than natural log of x. Well then, if we divide n to the other side, we have 1 over n natural log of x is less than 1. Well then, in that case, we can apply this fact. So we're going to take r to be 1 over n natural log of x. So we get this. But now, we're going to modify e to the 1 over n natural log of x so that this guy becomes n times e to the 1 over n natural log of x minus 1. And to do that, all we have to do is subtract 1 on all three sides, then multiply n on all three sides. And if we do that, we get this. But now, let's simplify the right-hand side. First, if we multiply n in both the numerator and denominator, we get this. But now I'm going to rewrite n as n times n minus natural log of x all over n minus natural log of x. But now, we have common denominators. So we can combine these guys into a single fraction. And if we do that, we get this. Now, if we distribute minus n across, we get this, so then the n squareds cancel out, so we are left with this. So now we have that this guy is less than or equal to this guy is less than or equal to this guy. Right? And we have proven that this inequality is true for an arbitrary positive integer n, such that n is greater than natural log of x. So that tells us that this inequality is true for all positive integers n, such that n is greater than natural log of x. In other words, we have shown that this sequence is eventually squeezed between two other sequences which converge to the natural log of x, right? This sequence is a constant sequence where every term in the sequence is natural log of x, so clearly it converges to natural log of x. 
But this sequence also converges to the natural log of x. The reason why is because we know that the sequence n over n minus natural log of x converges to 1. Therefore, this sequence will converge to 1 times natural log of x, which is equal to natural log of x. So yeah, by the squeeze theorem, we have that this sequence converges to the natural log of x. Right, but this sequence is the same thing as this sequence because n third of x is equal to e to the 1 over n natural log of x. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.